All right, y'all. Hello. I'm back. My brain's here. Say walkies to servers. <laughs> Do you wanna... Just three heads, like... All right. Here in the land of... Zork, or the Wizard of Robaz. We got some stuff we need to do. It's not on this page. That's a different game. Don't worry about that. We accomplished quite a bit. Some of it even after the fact. It didn't click in my head until we were playing Heroine's Quest that the box in the wall was a safety deposit box. Um, so, presently, we need to deal with this one, deal with this one, which was a dog, a snake, and a wizard. And I think that those are our big tasks right now. I feel like we've accomplished, and there's the, the, the Meneer with the F on it, but I don't think, oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, presto, PPC, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, hello. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Greetings. Hope that your stream went well. Retro, I hope you are up, up to something good. If it's retro, it probably was. Hello, my name is Hannah or Poe. Uh, we are just getting... Well, not just getting started, but just re-getting started into some Zork 2. It was fun, that's good. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Hi, Hard Mithril. Hi, Ocel oh, Ocel P. God, I can't read today. That's a, always a good thing to say right before you're starting a text-based adventure. Megalomania and Pirate's Gold for the Sega Mega Drive. There's been a lot of Sega already going on this month. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Megalomania. I think I've heard of this before. Not the song, but... <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. Yeah, welcome, welcome. We're, uh, we're working on a little bit of Zork today. Zork 2, specifically. And Heroine's Quest. <laughs> Can't forget about Heroine's Quest. Um, so we are... Okay, yeah. Cerberus, Sea Serpent. Those are our big tasks, I feel like. right. And the Wizard. The Wizard of Frobaz. The Frobazian foiler. Because I think we... I think we're done with... I, I hate to say done with anything, but I think we have finished what we need to do in the bank and the volcano for now. We're going to have to redo all of it, ultimately. Probably. What if we didn't? That would be wild, but we have so many moves. Um, let's restore... Gosh, I don't even remember what a good save would be from yesterday. I don't think we accomplished really anything the last couple of saves. Okay. So we're in the gazebo, which is where I've been stashing all of our stuff. I could probably get rid of our crown at this point. Uh, okay, we got the card, we got the crown and the safety deposit box. Then we were able to get the portrait, which... It's kind of tricky because I feel like some of these things are or aren't treasures, or the score is working differently or something. Like, if I drop the violin, 
Nothing happens. Get portrait. Oh, well, uh, drop flask and sword. Get portrait. Score doesn't change, but we have it. I mean, we own it. We stole it. Let's be honest, but. So, it's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be something... It doesn't matter, because in Zork 1, you might use some treasures as things to solve puzzles. So maybe I shouldn't even be considering that. Besides <laughs> nine-tenths of the law. Well, can I... I wonder if I can... This is probably a dumb idea. We gotta try it, even if it is. Oh. We got fermented. Frazzle. Uh, let's see, we we're going down to the service room, which means this might be a struggle. Oops. Maybe we should wait. Yeah, we have a ton of moves. We'll probably restart. We went cobwebby room. We want to go Maneer room. All right, puppers. What if I look like someone else? Which I guess doesn't really work because I wore the crown. Uh, can't wear the portrait. Nothing special about it. Can't wave it or wear it. Do I need like a mouse if it's the size of an elephant? <laughs> what isn't clicking about this dog? We have so many things and I feel like we've probably been able to deal with it for a long time. Or we've had the means to. Just not the knowledge. I cannot fight the Cerberus. What if... No, after we die, we just get brought back to life. It's not like, right? It's not like Zork 1 where you were like ethereal or whatever you couldn't like touch anything <laughs> Sorry. um yeah fight dog with i didn't grab my sword so uh newspaper and like this feels kind of important either way studies you for a moment. Perhaps you may be of some use to me in gaining my freedom from this place. Return to your foolish quest. I shall not destroy you this time. Mayhap you will repay this favor someday. The face vanishes from the mist and begins to swirl. When it clears, you are returned to the world of life. We just get right, you know. Uh, get lamp. Okay, so I can touch stuff. We still lose 10 points. Hmm. I feel like we probably don't want to free the whatever that is. I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well. I am enjoying Zork 2 a lot. A little a little at the stumped phase finally, but. Alright. 
Let us drop Zork Mid Newspaper Crown Jet Necklace What else could possibly have anything to do with a Cerberus? Yeah, this is our map. We are presently here. Is all the stuff you have collected but not used up here in the gazebo? I believe so. I don't think I've left anything anywhere. Aside from in our pockets. I have made it a point to bring everything back here. Unless it, yeah, got you like cake or To, uh, to the brick or whatever. All kinds of angry noises. Why are you mad at me? Shush. We haven't used the rose for anything, if anything, nor the necklace, nor the flask, nor the violin, nor the stamp. Just keeping track of what you've done for future nudging. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's... I've kept up with that. Putting everything back here. Well, I lied. The steel box. <laughs> I didn't pick up the steel box that the violin was in. I don't think that that's important, but I'm going to go get it anyways, just in case. There's really no reason for me to not think it's important. <laughs> get box. Oh no. Um... This is the only- yeah, this is the only thing that I like left. Uh, on the ground. But you were accounting for it. Okay, cool. Uh, drop. Uh, what am I holding on to? Drop. Card. And stamp. Out. Get. I forgot my lamp was still on. Get. Box. My load is too heavy. How heavy is this box? Huh? Got it. Okay. Cool. How heavy was the coffin and Zork one? Oh my gosh. We couldn't have anything, right? Like, just the coffin and... Maybe the lantern? Maybe it must have allowed for some kind of light source. That was brutal. That and fitting through the the little pass passageway at the end of the coal mine. Okay, so this pearl necklace, it explains that it has hundreds, hundreds of large pearls. I feel like it's gonna be significant in some form or fashion. I cannot break it. You already have that. Oh, that's the other thing too that we learned about the flask. That <laughs> we already know one use that it has. And we might have already blown past the use that it was needed for. You can, it's a magnifying glass. But we've already dealt with the cakes. And so far I haven't encountered anything 
that I know of that we need to look more closely at. But we've tried it on some stuff. There is also still the letters in the circular room. The well. Just for kicks. Okay, we have it. So let's go... Oh no, this room doesn't acknowledge the paintings. So, never mind that. And then there's also still technically a huge dead dragon. Feels weird and or sad that it's just there. <laughs> like, I can't cut it. Stuff is an acceptable verb. Because I was gonna try and stuff it in a teapot. Always talks about reading, so I'm pretty sure the flask was just to magnify letters, presumably the ones on the cake. Cakes. Sea serpent's all about eating stuff. So I feel like we're gonna feed it something, but I don't know what. I don't think we can feed it the stoppered glass, but let's try. Oops. Feed serpent to the baby Caesar. Feed necklace. Takes you instead, yeah. Takes you instead. And I can put other things in the aquarium. The aquarium, probably not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Frank Aquarium with sword. <gasps> the sword shatters the glass wall of the aquarium, spilling out an impressive amount of salt water and wet sand. It also spills out an extremely annoyed sea serpent who bites angri angrily at the sword and then at you. He is having difficulty breathing and seems to hold you responsible for his current problem. He manages to rend you limb from limb before he drowns in the air. I guess you were too careless. Is there a way that we could be out of reach from... Bites angrily at the sword.
There's not like a table I could stand on or something, or... Get on table. Uh, throw flask at aquarium. The flask shatters and poison gas fills the room. Can't like run away before it fills the room. <laughs> It was as easy as that. I didn't need to not be holding the sword. The sword shatters the glass wall of the aquarium, spilling out an impressive amount of salt water and wet sand. It also spills out an extremely annoyed sea serpent by angry at the sword and at you. He's having difficulty breathing, and he seems to hold you responsible for his current problem. He tries to slither across the stone floor towards you. Fortunately, he expires mere inches away from biting off your foot. A clear crystal sphere sits amid the sand and broken glass on the bottom of the aquarium. So, murky room? Hey, Tita. It's good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's going pretty good. We just solved a thing. Uh, get sphere. Get, well... <laughs> we need our sword back. Can we get the serpent? May only be a baby sea serpent, but it's as big as a small whale. But. Make some sashimi for the Cerberus. Our score, though, we broke 200. Huzzah! Um. Look, look in crystal. You just stand there as he gets start to right? Like why not like leave the room or move? Oh, just waiting to see how close he gets. Uh as you peer into the sphere, a strange vision takes shape of a distant room. Okay, so then this loops back to the red sphere. So do we need to get all of them? Red, blue. Do we not need the ruby for... Ooh, wait a minute. A big ruby, red sphere, red, white, and blue spheres. But the Cerberus is still a big problem and the wizard. Okay, I have a theory. Might be wrong. Just leaving all these dead creatures all the way all around <laughs> like all right that feels kind of not cool look in aquarium can i get in the aquarium so wait so if i look in the blue crystal sphere that'll answer that for sure. I mean, that's that's what it is. But see, okay, three fi uh, fixed stands: ruby, sapphire, and diamond. Doesn't say that. That's what they need to hold. It's saying that that's what they look like or what they're made of. Would form a triangle. Okay. Either way, turn on lamp. North. Uh, hold on. Okay, so we were just here. We just dealt with this situation. Now we're going back to the lab again. A 
Okay. Hey, no, go away. Uh, drop fear sphere. Get. Okay, there's a clear crystal sphere. Oh man. Items continued. Clear crystal sphere. That's it. That's all we got, isn't it? <laughs> I swear, if it's just one item on the next page. Uh. Lord Dimwit's crown. Where is it? I know it's here, but where? Right? Did I leave it in... Oh no, did I? I was just talking about how I've been doing so good at not leaving anything anywhere. Oh, fuck. Freaking topiary. Okay, that works actually, anyways, because. Where did my blue sphere go? Okay, well, either way, we can still try something before we have to restart anyways. I don't know where my blue sphere went. I don't feel like I would have just dropped it haphazardly anywhere. Besides to see if it could go in the middle of the pentagram. Hmm. Get teapot. I think that's it. If this even does anything. I think the foot pad is still confusing. Please don't kill me. I think I went east instead of west. Northwest. East. Save. Uh, okay. There's a beautiful red crystal sphere here. On what? Poisonous gas starts coming into the room. Cage, you're trapped inside a solid steel cage. Look at... that doesn't... it's gonna ask me what wall. 
the new closet adjacent to a large room in the north. Look in sphere. That shows the dreary room. But I want to get this crystal. I've been able to acquire both of the other ones. I need this one as well. So how am I going to prevent the cage from falling or escape from the cage when it does fall? Solid steel cage falls from the ceiling to entrap you. Maybe the grooves won't get us when our lamp goes out. The grooves might not, but the poison will. seem like there's a way that we can interact with to interfere with the cage before it drops. If I ask the robot to get the sphere, he just dies and is crushed. Yeah. Wall, an interesting idea. Well, I don't want to kill. Don't want to kill our robot, right? That's just not cool. Plus then we don't get the sphere anyway. <laughs> so... Footpad. Hello, footpad. What does that mean?
but pad means thief. Like, actually? <laughs> a foot pad. Doesn't seem to be any foot pad here. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Nothing happens here. trust that. No. Debated. Recognizes it. May have found it? What if I just say find violin? You have it. Find unicorn. So I found the footpad? Possibly? Get footpad? What a concept. Kick footpad? Put ruby on footpad? No good surface on the foot pad. Foot pad. Give me a definition. Historically, a highwayman operating on foot rather than riding a horse. A criminal who robs pedestrians. So did I find me? I want to be a thief. Ah, what? Ah! <laughs> don't Google images for- oh, don't Google images that. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> like, the pad of a foot. Specifically, footpad is a petty thief unmounted that waylays usually mountain travelers for their valuables. So if I'm on my feet... Today and thinks Poe regrets. That's a big one. That's gonna be top of the list, I hope. I don't hope- I don't- but I don't want worse. Find car. <laughs> Something which doesn't exist in the game. Find- yeah, car. Oh, car or cart. Find it'd have to be a word that still works. So, like the unicorn's gone, but I think it. I think it's just messing with me. Find flower. Find. Find princess. No princess here. Find footpad. Say. Tell footpad hello. And if it's me. That was on my list of things to explain post-game, but if you're already searching for it, now's as good a time. Yeah. Yeah, this whole time I was picturing like a like a a pressure plate or a you know, something that you step on. Which I didn't understand why you would be saying hello to it, but <laughs> There doesn't seem to be any footpad here, however. So there either was or 
is now or a lover for a kick drum or similar yeah yeah but it's not I think that's what I was expecting to see in images when I searched and you don't that you won't see that um I've got to get this crystal. Surely, there's they wouldn't have three crystals. You get we got points for getting the other two. We have to get this crystal. No, I mean, unless you think you have something medically wrong with the bottom of your foot, or you really want or know someone who wants a stress reliever squishy toy that's in the shape of a, a cut off foot and not like in a cute the bone sticking out of it way you know because that's cute <laughs> then I would recommend avoiding that I learned something new today though, and that maybe that was worth the pain of the the search. I'd never heard the word footpad, I don't believe, or knew what it meant. Doesn't seem to ring for Do I need to hire a thief? We killed the thief. No, Billy. We can't listen to you. Get out. You're gonna flag the video again. If the bone is sticking out, yeah, because then it's cute. Then it's like a decoration. <laughs> I need to go Halloween decoration shopping. I need to just decorate with what I got and then figure out what I need. Um... But not today. Beautiful red crystal sphere. Beautiful red crystal sphere. Beautiful red crystal sphere. I mean, I can think of a bunch of different silly ways, but I also don't think that they would be ways that would play out in the parser. Like, putting something on the ground so when the cage falls there's still a gap or something, or finding a rasp. Does that word mean what I think it means? Rasp, rasp, rasp. Not a runtime application self protection. Yeah. A course file. With cutting points instead of lines. Whatever. You know what I mean. A big file. Would get us maybe out of steel? Hey, I don't know about steel. Um. My main thought was, okay, well, the ruby is big, supposedly, and the ruby is what I thought was going to be going on the stands, but I think it was just saying that it's a ruby stand. And now that we know that we have these important three-colored spheres, 
that that would connect to having to Indiana Jones. I always will go back to Indiana Jones for solving these puzzles and it's, it hasn't happened yet. Putting the ruby where the sphere is so the alarm doesn't go off. What if I just push the sphere? Roll sphere. Move sphere. Damn it. Can't even get it before the cage falls. So... Like, I think we're on to something, but... Get sphere without getting caught in cage, if only that would work. Um... Alright, let's restore... restore... Like, either we're going to need to find a way to get it without the cage falling, get it, get out of the cage, or disable the alarm. Although, I don't think any alarm actually goes off. It's just the cage. Back to the Cerberus, I guess. direction is the entrance. If the robot gets the sphere, the cage crushes the robot and the sphere. East is the way to go. What if... Drop... Teapot... Get... Oh fuck, I didn't turn the lamp back on. Press. Drop the pot that can. Uh. Alright, what if I. What if I outsmart the dog? Turn. Let's see. Turn off lamp. Spray. Pan on self. The spray smells like a mixture of old socks and burning rubber. If I were a crew, I'd sure stay clear. East. 
The huge dog can still see me. Damn it. Spray smells like a mixture of old socks and burning rubber. Spray can. Stop. Turn on. Spray can. Oh, dog. Horrible smell is much less pungent now. Three out of dog snaps at you viciously. I feel like I thought that maybe the smell would be too intense for the dog or something. Uh, okay, that didn't work. I thought it would be like the pink bowl. Thank you, just a little cough. That's like the third time today I've not successfully been a human and like inhaled my own spit or something. <laughs> Spooed earlier. All right, oh, we are way down here. What does a Cerberus want? We cannot fight the Cerberus, we cannot feed the Cerberus, we cannot give anything to the Cerberus. It snaps vicious at, at us no matter what we try to do. We can't go around it in the dark, we can't climb it, we can't pet it. more or less your usual dog except that it has three heads and is the size of an elephant. I don't have like a bone. <laughs> Not a bone sticking out of a foot or anything. Can throw stuff. Herbs. I used it. Grrr. Ah. What do you do? Sorry, Heavenly Sword. Just 
wish the volumes of every song on these videos would be about the same. I feel like I'm always adjusting it. Um, Cerberus, Quest for Glory 5, you wanted treats. snacks for you. I can't boop you on the nose. Please consult your manual for the correct way to talk to other people or creatures. Nothing specific about the room. We have my space, right? <laughs> entrance to a huge crypt or tomb. The entrance to a huge crypt or tomb. That's where the bones are. So much Final Fantasy X music. Too much Final Fantasy X music. Um. The fact that we don't die instantly when we get in the cage makes me think we can do something to get out. Yeah. I think I agree with that. I think it's weird that it crushes the robot though. Unless the robot's just way bigger than we are, but... Yeah. I don't know if we have what we need to get out yet. If that's the case. coming from. <laughs> But not like human, not like alien knocking, but like a bug or something big, a bird, maybe like a squirrel. I'm gonna look, hold on, I'll be right back.
That would be so mean. I don't think it's anything. I think maybe it was like a bird or something. Anyways, <laughs> I really thought I've been super suspicious. I've been thinking that I've been hearing like some kind of physical sound coming from the inside of the computer and hoping everything's okay. So that's what I thought it was. And then, and then it was like, okay, wait, what? like a animal trying to get in. Not convinced that these windows are the most well sealed either. Like from stuff. Nope, not my computer. Just the ghost. Just the ghost that lives inside my computer. The one that's been hacking with stream all week. That's what I think. I think I got it sorted. Cerberus, was it you knocking? I cannot play the violin. I can't give it the ruby. What does the Cerberus do? What is the point of its Cerberus? It guards the entrance to the underworld or something. How to get past it? You have to be dead, don't you? In Quest for Glory 5, we had to be dead to encounter it. But we're not dead. Feel happy! Stumped. I could make it smell a rose. I mean, it. like a tennis ball <laughs> like Put something like in the corner for it to eat. If I had anything for it to eat, like some yummy dragon meat or serpent snacks. But that doesn't seem to be a thing either. Everything's too big. They didn't care about the cake.
So we're down to Wizard, Cerberus, Red Sphere for the moment, right? Keep avoiding trying to deal with the wizard, but mostly because he seems too random. Like whether or not he's gonna actually chat with us or just disappear immediately. And then when he's not, I don't know if I have the right thing or know what the right thing to do is. Um, he's ducked if we tried to throw things at him. Give him things, and he'll say thank you, and just take them. I wonder if he takes them back to his workshop, if you can get him back. I'm a bit, I'm a bit perplexed. I'm gonna look at our items, but. I guess if it's okay that I ask, I'm gonna ask. If we have in general, if we have what we, if we are able to solve the Cerberus, I feel like we have to be. Looks rose. Cannot currently solve the Cerberus. What? Okay. Interesting. All right, then maybe I need to shift my focus more towards the wizard. I was just trying to smooth out the <laughs> drop teapot, get coin, drop coin. Well, I just made it worse. Maybe we need to either worry more about, maybe once we get the three spheres, that'll be how we deal with the wizard. So we need to get the red sphere, possibly.
So, what if? Dang it. Drop, um, glass. Gonna bring the robot into the sphere room with us when we get it. Oh, that's smart thinking. And then ask the robot to remove the cage. I was thinking, oh, that would make a lot of sense. Let's try that. I was thinking the box being also steel and dented. <laughs> Get it? Box. Okay, so out. Robot. Okay. So let's try both things. Get sphere. Robot. Remove cage. <gasps> the cage shakes and it's hurled across the room. It's hard to say, but the robot appears to be smiling. Wow. <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. It felt like that robot needed another purpose. Good thinking, Knight. Of course. Um. Get cage. Drop box. Get cage. Can I get it? Actually? And then put the dog in it? Ah, of course! That all makes sense. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't. Oh, I'm kind of frustrated that I didn't. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, all right, so right now in this room is my sword and a steel box. That's fine. Lamp is totally going to go out before we're done with this, but out. Uh... West, south, west, turn on, get in, bucket, put water in, pop, get water, get out, west, west, north, northwest, east, north, north, in, drop, uh, shoot, <laughs> drop teapot, Drop cage and rose out. Oh, damn it. South, southwest, turn on. Southeast, east, east, in. Get in. Drop water. Get out. East, north, <laughs> northwest, east, south. Get sword and box. Get sphere. That's important. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> right, note to self, this whole section is heavy. We probably don't need the box at all, which will save me all these trips, but. I guess my steel box is too heavy. Uh, no. What is, how do we go there? West, south. West, south, west. Shit. Uh, all right, let's do this again. Let's just do this again. Restore Ruby. Drop all but lamp and teapot, <laughs> lump. Lamp and teapot. Okay. Drop water. Get out. East, north, northwest, east. 
northwest, east, northwest, east, save, oh, uh, robot, south, uh, <laughs> get, sphere, robot, move, cage, Get sphere and cage. Sweet. Thanks, robot. Deuces. Damn it. There we go. West. Southeast. West, southeast, west, turn on, get in, bucket, get water, get out, west, west, northeast, northwest, east, north, north, in, drop, drop speed, mm. drop cage. But I don't know where our blue sphere is. Fuck. I was gonna go ahead and try and do that. Unless we just happen to... No, the rusty key is here. There's no way we would have the rusty key and not the sphere. Did it go back there? Get... Uh... Damn it, turn off. Out, south. Okay, I don't know why, I don't know where, I don't know how. Maybe we did leave it. Maybe I'm silly. Bye. Fucking topiary. <laughs> Not going that way this time. go can we just go east east in north in get crystal clear and uh get clear <laughs> look we have them all now. Blue, red, clear. Drop, teapot. Ooh. This may or may not be something and I'm so excited. So we need to go southwest, southwest, south. So oh, I'm floating. No, nothing happened. Ha! Sleepy looking lizard head is mounted on the door. I hope that hasn't changed. All right, put red on Ruby. Put red on sand. Ruby sand. Put clear on diamond stand put blue on sapphire stand 
As you place the blue crystal sphere on the sapphire stand, a low humming noise begins, and you can feel the hairs on the back of your neck begin to stand up. Three spheres, the three spheres begin to vibrate faster and faster as the noise becomes higher and higher pitched. Three puffs of smoke, one red, one blue, and one white, rise up from the empty stands. The spheres are gone, but in the center of the triangle formed by the stands is now a black stand of obsidian in which rests a strange black sphere. Ooh. I'm not gonna get it just yet. What if it kills me? Sing. Obsidian. Look in sphere. As you peer into the sphere, a strange vision takes shape. A huge and fearful face with yellow eyes. The face peers out at you expectantly. Are we really about to like summon a demon here? <laughs> get sphere. A cold wind blows outward from the sphere, the candles flicker, and a low moan, almost inaudible, is heard. It rises in volume and pitch until it becomes a high-pitched keening. A dim shape becomes visible in the air above the sphere. The shape resolves into a large and somewhat formidable-looking demon. He looks around, tests the walls of the pentagram experimentally, then sees you. Hmm, a new master, he says under his breath. Greetings, O master. Wouldst desire, wouldst desire a service, as our contract stateth? For some pittance of wealth, some trifle, I will gratify thy... Oh, pittance of wealth, okay. I will gratify thy desires to the utmost limit of my powers, and they are not inconsiderable. He makes a pass with his massive arms, and the walls begin to shake a little. Another pass, and the shaking stops. A nice effect. I find it makes for a better relationship to give such a demonstration early on. He grins vilely. Is there a bad end? Because I feel like we are about to get it. <laughs> uh, I need to stand. Get ob obsidian stand. Okay. East, turn on. Feels like a silly thing for him to need, but okay. So if we go north, northeast. I thought I turned it on. My lamp is out. No, you're we just getting so much done. Ah. Oh. Rip lamp. Uh, wait, I want to end with that score. Also, nine hundred plus boobs. Yeah, <laughs> we were uh, we were pushing it a little bit. Restart. So I guess technically we get a black sphere. I think that means that we're going to be giving him the coin. And steel cage. I should put robot on here. I know we don't like have the robot, but I'm going to include him on our list. We're just a middle ground adventure now. Ah oh, man. Okay. Ah, oh, we got so much done, but I think I want to keep cruising, but I feel like this is a good stopping point. Like I might write down what all we need to do in like the order that we need to do it, not like in super description, but super descriptive but because it's literally the next thing that we're going to do is just start from the top again as long as you don't forget it all over the weekend since you're gonna have to restart for the lamp that's what yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking i might write some stuff down I think I might write some stuff down and then when we come back on Tuesday, 
we'll be cruising and we'll be able to finally see what we can do with the Cerberus slash maybe hire a demon. Typical Tuesday. 